Hi everyone, I'm Alex Shan. Thanks for joining us on a special video we like to call Hot for the Cure, where I'm joined by Elise Chan. You might know her from uh, Powderkeg Web Design as an account manager. You might also see her weekly Tidbit Tuesdays on LinkedIn, or you might be joining us as a friend or family member for support. How are you feeling today? I'm very nervous. <laughs> I think I'm more nervous than I expected I would be. So, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> how do you, how would you say you handle heat? Not very well. Um, the other day when we were eating lunch, Alex had some sriracha with his food, so I tried a little bit, which I've had sriracha before. It's just been a really long time, and it just was hotter than I expected. So, <laughs> considering that that's the first sauce we're starting with, uh, I'm not too optimistic. <laughs> Should we get started? Sure. All right. So yeah, the first sauce is sriracha. So as we're getting this started, I know for this hot sauce challenge, we're doing it for a good cause for the Leukemia Lymphoma Society. Do you want to tell us a little bit more about that? Uh, yeah, let me try not to mess this part. Is that enough? That's enough to me. That seems like a lot. <laughs> So LLS is a nonprofit organization that focuses on cancer research, but then also they do a lot of work supporting patients and their families. So mm -hmm. there's a lot of resources um, that they're creating and connecting patients and their families with, which is super important. So um, it's definitely a great organization, and I'm really excited to be doing a fundraiser for them. Okay, I'm very scared. Oh. Well, it's not too bad with the chicken. Yeah. Well. Okay. I felt it more <laughs> at yeah. the end. <laughs> so this first uh, dinosaur nugget that we're doing the hot sauces with, this first one is brought to you by James. Um, so what I'm going to do is each time we go through um, a nugget, I'm going to go ahead and announce someone that has already donated to the fundraiser. Um, so this first one is James. So thank you, James, so much for your donation. And he did have a rule here. He said that, well, two rules, that it actually had to be spicy, which that was our plan anyway. Um, but he also said no milk during the actual video. So I'm not actually going to drink anything or I'm going to try not to because I think anything other than milk is probably going to make it worse. Maybe. Maybe. So I'm going to try not to drink anything. I do have some saltine crackers, which I, th I think are supposed to help if we need them. But yeah, that's, that's the first, first donor announcement. Sounds good. All right, let's move on to sauce number two. in my throat already. <clears throat> so speaking of the fundraiser, I know it's specifically towards Light the Night. Can you tell us a little bit more about that specifically? Are you trying to distract me when I do this so I accidentally pour too much on him? I'm just here to ask the questions. <gasps> that seems like so much. <sighs> yeah, so Light the Night is an event that the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society puts on each year. It's really all about celebrating um, and honoring people that are in their fight against cancer. We're honoring those who have passed um, due to cancer. And of course, then the fundraising component is there to also help you know, keep the organization moving forward and supporting all of the good things that they're doing to support you know, cancer research and, and patients. So, so yeah, so that's a little bit about the event, but if you go to the fundraising page, which we'll link to um, in the video description, you can learn more about the event there too. That's awesome. You ready? Mm -hmm. That's not bad. <sighs> it's a little bit hotter. You can eat, but I don't think it's too bad. No. I wouldn't eat that for fun, though. <laughs> and uh, who is this being sponsored by? Oh. See, you're gonna have to remind me. So this wing, well, dinosaur nugget, <laughs> is sponsored by Renee. So thank you so much, Renee, for your donation. It's greatly appreciated. So this is number three. 
So, from my knowledge, I know that this is actually not your first time doing a hot sauce challenge. Mm -hmm. uh, can you tell us about that? I feel like this is the first time we're doing it the right way. Um, the only other time I've ever had sauces like this, uh, we were visiting our friends Andrew and Brittany, and they I think their set was pretty similar. I think there's a few differences. Yeah, I think it was one of the earlier sets actually. Um, and so we were visiting them, they're like, oh hey, we have the sauces, you guys want to sit down and try them. Um, so we did those with french fries, but I literally did like a tiny little dab. Much like, less than this. A lot less than that. Um, and that was fine. I feel like I don't remember it being that bad. Um, Only the bomb was really bad, which we do not have here today. Right, but I feel like just like the quantity oh. that I was doing, like... Yeah. It didn't really like. Probably pretty like minimal. As little as you can do to get away with it, I would say. Yeah. So. so this is probably the real test for her and myself, actually. Do this. So this one is the habanero one, so I feel like it's gonna get kicked up a notch. I'm like comparing. Does he yep. have Yep, that's definitely enough. Is it too much? Nope, you're fine. Alright. <laughs> oh, that's a good flavor. I, I taste the flavor. That one's pretty good. That's really good. That one's more of like, yeah, it's not like you get hot, but you just kind of feel the heat in the mouth. So it's not too bad. It doesn't like, it hasn't like hit you at the end, like not yet anyway. Yeah. It just kind of, it, like there's good flavor. Yeah. I would say I actually like that one a I lot. I would actually eat that with stuff if I had a higher spice tolerance. Oh, do you want to shake that and make sure it's still recording? Okay, it's yeah. good. <sighs> Alright, so that was the third ring, and that was brought to you by... Oh, this one is from Jeff and Jennifer. Thank you guys so much. They're out there on the, on the West Coast, so thank you so much for your support, guys. Alright, now let's go to number four. So I know this is the hot ones, one of their signature ones, Los Calientes. This one's supposed to be good too, right? Yeah, I feel like this one you've had before and I think I liked it a lot, so I'm hoping that's the same this time around. So, speaking of challenging things, and I guess maybe somewhat of a hidden talent people might not know about you is that you're pretty good with hula hoops? Kinda. <laughs> Can you give us more background about, I guess, how that all started and what you're doing with it? Yeah, I'm starting to sweat. Probably already like two years ago. So I was already going to a dance studio in Madison um, with a friend and we kind of went through all the normal like eight week rotations and we're like, we don't, we didn't know what to do. Mm -hmm. So I saw that there was a hula hoop tricks class and I was like, hey, Christine, which this is who, wait, is this one? This one's sponsored by Christine. So thank you, Christine. Um, but yeah, we were going to these classes. She's like, yeah, I'll go with you. And then, you know, I was kind of nervous, like, oh, is this going to be like goofy or like weird? Mm -hmm. And then we went and after the first class, I was hooked. I was like, this is really cool. <laughs> All right, everyone, I have a hoop tricks intermission for you. So I'm going to show you a couple of tricks, I guess. We are officially on number five. Hotter than L. It's got the Grim Reaper, so must mean it's hot or something. Or something. How do you feel like you're doing so far? I'm fine. Yeah. If they were all like moderately similar to this. Sorry, Dino, I can't pet you right now, baby. No doggy pets right now, I'm sorry. There you go. But I'm I fear that it is, we're about to cross a bridge here. Yeah, I'm anticipating that as well. And, and 
I'm gonna have to like switch to the big nuggets soon. I think the I need a higher ratio of food to the sauce. So getting back to the fundraising aspect of this challenge, that, yeah, that's fine. Can you tell us, I guess, what led to the idea of the hot sauce and like combining it with the night the light fundraiser or light the night fundraiser? <laughs> yeah. Um. I don't know. I feel like I've never done a whole lot of fundraising before, or at least successfully. And I feel like in general, it's easy for people to kind of just struggle with um, like figuring out how to get people excited and to donate and participate. And so like I was like, oh, like is there some fun like incentive I can offer people? Who was that one brought to you by? Wait, what sauce is this? Six? Uh, that was five. Oh, Matt and Jamie, thank you so much for your donation. All right. Oh, and I also have to say, like, the original goal was kind of like the minimum that um, the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society likes to see individuals raise. So we surpassed the 350 mark pretty quickly. Um, so again, a lot. Of, I mean, everyone that's already donated, thank you so much for helping me exceed that goal. Um, but just to kind of plug here, um, we're a little over $500 right now, and I would love to see that get to 1000 or higher. So if you're enjoying this content, please go over to the donation page. Even if you can only donate a dollar or two, that's still amazing. It's super helpful. Just imagine if everyone did that. Um, and if, you, if you're in a pinch and you really can't do that, then just share this video, and hopefully someone you share it with can donate. Sounds I'll good. My nose. All right. This is number six, again with the Grim Reaper, and it is Seafire Gourmet. So I'm be interested in what the taste for that would be like. So those that know you obviously know that you have a dog named Dino mm -hmm. and that you love him. Can you tell us about how adopting a dog has changed your life? Sure. <laughs> um, yeah, I feel like I can't really remember us not having him. Right. Like, it sort of seems like we just have always had a dog. It's hard to remember life without him. Yeah, even I don't it's know. it's only been over a year. I feel like you have more, but my nugget, I, I did half fine. a nugget. That's fine. Yeah, and that's amazing. He's like our baby. <laughs> um, I don't know. I just feel like dogs are so great because it's just like such this innocent like pure love that you have for them and they just like I don't know they're just so sweet yeah. so I don't know it's just he's so entertaining too like all of our photos are of him like half of our free time we spend with him and like I don't know I really don't know what we'd be doing <coughs> if we didn't have a dog yeah it definitely brings us a lot of joy yeah it's good adopt a dog if you can yep. if you can take care of one adopt one <laughs> okay right, you ready Wait, which one is this? This one? This is number six. Okay. It's like a barbecue flavor. Ooh. I'm feeling the heat. Ooh. That's creeping up. No. Ooh. I'm sorry. Who is that wing brought to you by? Oh, um, this one's brought to you by two different people, John and Carolyn. So thank you so much. <sighs> That's bad. You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. gonna start like crying now. You ready to move on? I mean, like he's on the side of this. All right, here is volcanic pepper, <sighs> Thor's hammer, super hot sauce. Nearing the end here, folks. It's very close, it's gonna but get far really away. Bad now. Oh, is it? Oh, is that the one? I'm gonna need a salt tea now, because I feel like the heat is just building. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. This is where I'm like. I feel like claustrophobic in my body right now. Oh, can you shake the... It's still not, it's not that bad. 
Ashes. I don't know about you, but I am sweating. You always sweat. Yeah. Spice so I was ready to ready for this next swing. I know in high school, and I guess growing up, music's always been really big for you, and you ended up being your drum major for your high school band your senior year. Can you tell us how that experience was, getting that leadership position, and just going from a trumpet to more of like leading the band? And for those of you that weren't in marching band, like, the big thing is hard to talk. I just want to say not over. The big thing is doing field shows. And so when you play an instrument, you're out on the field doing the field show. But when you're the drum major, you're just up conducting. Um, so I really actually miss doing the field shows a lot. I was just very nervous about the leadership and just felt like I was going to be super frustrated all season if anyone else mm. <laughs> got the position. Um, so I just kind of did it. It kind of fell out of necessity. That's like just, that's literally just shows like my control, like issues that are like, can I just dip mine in there? Yeah, if you want. And this swing is brought to you by two different people as well. Thank you, Matt, and thank you, Kara. Well, there's two Matts. This is Matt, Matt W. I know I need more. There you go. All right, this is what, number what? seven? I don't know, guys. It's hot. I don't know about this. I'm like... You ready? <sighs> I haven't cursed yet. That might happen soon. I just want to creep up and I it. I feel it on my tongue. That's creeping. Ooh. Oh, it's after you chew your food. Definitely feel it in my mouth right now. It's after the food goes down. I Make mean, you chew your food and you're like, this is fine. I'll be okay. Oh. <laughs> Do you feel like the saltines help? I think maybe. We have three left. Yep. This is bad. Are you having fun? I don't know anymore. There is to breathe. There is to breathe through my throat. It's gonna make it worse. Can I eat part of our banana? I don't know what I'll do. I suppose to maybe have a little. Mmm. That flavor is nice. Did it help? I think it helps. It's cheating? I think that helps. Do you feel better? It's still hot, but I feel like the edge was cool. It comes back. There's definitely some relief with the banana, but... It comes back. Again, two people. Um, so this is brought to you by Keith and by Carrie. So thank you, both of you. As I say thank you, I feel like I don't mean it though, because I, I really don't want. Oh. 
I really can I start doing slightly smaller? Yeah. Because I feel like that's been a lot. But I don't know how much. I feel like that's how much they do on the show. Well, usually on the show these are coded. Are they though? I don't sure. know. I don't know. Sean Evans, if you're watching this, let us know how you make your wings. How do you survive tens, fifties, I don't know what episode you're on now. But okay, well that's how much, I don't know if everyone can see, that's how much I'm doing, which is still way more than I did on oh, the french yeah. fries. The french fry was literally like a, a drop. Yeah. Like a pinpoint. Alright. No, I don't want Bottoms to. Up. Oh, it's sweet. No. Oh, no. I don't like that. Oh, no. Uh-uh. Oh. No, no, no. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. I just know it's going to get worse once I'm done chewing. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, that was bad. That's so bad. Oh my god. Oh no. I feel like I can't breathe. You want me to break out milk? Uh -oh. Are you sure? I'm not drinking milk. Oh my god. It's on my lips now. Oh no. I have to like walk around. What? Oh my god. Alright folks, we are throwing in the towel. I feel like such a failure. That mad dog is mad hot. That was. I think it's. Oh. I think it's the fact that breathing. Breathing is painful after eating this. Oh my god. Oh. That still hurts. Ice cream is not helping so far. Also, the challenge is over, so I am making up now. Seriously, like, I'm sorry if we disappointed anyone, but I think only people that can eat all all ten can give us any crap about that. Yeah. Now, if you can do that, props to you. Like, I have not, I can't handle spice. Like, I can't. Sriracha. I will not put sriracha on things. So that was... She made it pretty far. That was the hottest thing I've ever eaten. Her tolerance level. And it's like, I don't really like sweat. I don't, it's just all in my mouth. So <sighs> wait, oh wait, wait, can we shout out the other people? Oh yeah, we can just, let's finish up the sponsors before we get into the questions, wrap things up. Yeah, so we did, so we did do, wait, we did do eight. That was mm -hmm. eight, so we missed the last two. So this was from Kayla? Mm -mm. Wait. Oh, this I wrote it on the wrong one. This one was thanks to Kayla. Okay, also. Technically. Thank you, Caleb, so much for letting us. Wait. Mm -hmm. This one? Mm -hmm. This one? Mm -hmm. Oh. So, thank you, Caleb. You told us to be safe with the sauce. We tried. We're playing it safe now, buddy. Yeah. But then also in terms of donors, we got Brittany and Patrick. Thank you guys both so much um, for this these this other sauce. And then the last one, Abigail and Scott. Thank you guys. Sorry we didn't make it to those last two. We tried. Oh my god. 
Well, this last question uh, is just to coincide with the really hot sauces because it's going to be a series of this or that questions, so kind of a quick fire succession. So, all right, coffee or tea? Tea. Too, being too cold or too hot? Too cold because you can put more layers on. Squatting or deadlifting? <sighs> That's tough. I used to be so scared of squat because I hurt my back several years ago with bad squat form. So be careful, folks. Once you hurt your back once, there's you don't ever quite come back from that one. Um, so I love, love, love deadlifts for pretty much forever after that. But now squat's going so much better. I think I'm still going to say deadlift because that's my stronger lift, but squat might be a new favorite soon. Nice, nice. And what's your max on deadlift? I didn't tell him to ask me this. The only questions I knew for sure he would ask were about the fundraiser and hooping. Um, 200 pounds on deadlift for one rep. Donuts or brownies? <sighs> hard. We had donuts the other week and Alex was like, well, I think donuts might be my favorite, might be my favorite dessert. And I was like, I don't know, brownies still might be my favorite, but donuts are so good. But if I can have vanilla ice cream and hot fudge on the brownie, then I pick the brownie. Okay. All right. And the last question, tacos or sushi? I have to change my answer to tacos. On my about page on the powder cake site, it says unlimited sushi for life, but I don't know. I feel like I got a little burned out on sushi for a while, and we haven't had it for so long now. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's up to your family sushi, that's good. But mm -hmm. I don't know if I would really go out and splurge on sushi right now. Tacos? Yeah. All right, you heard it here first, folks. Tacos for life. So yeah, obviously you saw, we didn't make it to the whole gauntlet. We made it to Mad Dog, which if you watch early seasons of Hot Ones was actually number nine. Are you serious? But that uh, one's hotter now, so it doesn't really matter. I have so much respect for everyone that, that has made it through that show. Sean Evans, I already can't comprehend how you I do this. I don't understand. Like, I really don't understand once a it week. anymore. I really don't. So, I guess before we wrap things up, is there anything you want to tell the audience or shout out about? Yeah, so again, the whole reason we made this video was to help promote and support the Light the Night event through the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. So, I do have a fundraising page. Um, again, we'll link to that in the description. I would love so much to hit over $1,000. I think that would be huge. Um, so every little bit counts. Again, share this video if you know someone that will enjoy it and might also want to donate. Um, the more views we get on this video, uh, the higher our chances I feel like of people donating and us hitting that, that new goal. Um, so, oh gosh. So yeah, I think that's probably the main thing. I can't think of anything else. Sounds good. The link for the donation will be in the description. Um, again, we appreciate everyone that's already donated and for watching. Sorry we couldn't make it through all of it, but hope you enjoyed at least answering some questions, watching us eat, hearing us in pain for that eighth wing, and have a good one.